Okay, so at the time of recording, Don Tolliver has just released his new album. Now I've been waiting for this album since he dropped Bandit, and there's a lot of different styles and genres on this album. But I received a comment on my last video asking me to make a specific genre of drill. I don't think I can say the name because I might spontaneously combust. But I think I know what this comment's asking for, so I'm gonna do my best to try and emulate that. And I'm 100% gonna make another video on this because the album's only been out like a day, and I've listened to it like five times. And today's one, I'm going to be trying to make a beat in the style of Don Tolliver and Cash Cobain. Okay, so I think for these kind of beats, I'm gonna need a slightly higher BPM. So instead of 140, I'm gonna go for like 155. And in the reference track I'm going for, the melody is like so simple and so are the drums so this is not going to be a very long video so i'm going to try and show a bit more of my mixing process and stuff like that so i can pad out the runtime you know so first thing i'm going to need is a vocal sample because i'm not going to sing that myself i'm going to go to old reliable <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting when I clicked this. I don't want me while I, yeah, I just want for party. Alright, maybe not this one, but I do like the texture on the vocal, so I'm gonna look in this pack. Mmm, okay, it's really hard to say which samples are usable, but I'm gonna try and use this one. I know a lot of people like to use Serato sample and stuff. I'm just gonna use Slice X. I don't know what to tell you, bro. Like Serato sample gives me sensory issues. Um I'm gonna place a marker here. I might need that one as well. And I think the rest of the sample just repeats, so I'm just gonna leave it like that. I have a feeling if I take too long to make this beat, the melody is gonna get so annoying. Okay, I've got the 8-bar pattern I'm looking for, so I'm going to add a couple more things before I go to percussion. Mm, this sound is sliding a bit too much for me, so I'm going to turn down the port time, turn up the attack a little bit. This sound is so annoying. like a stupid roll here or something. Okay, I'm gonna add like one more sound then I'll start drums. Beat sounds so stupid. Okay, I'm gonna root these to a mixer track. Definitely need to add some effects to these two. All right, I think it's time to whack some drums on this. I feel like I gotta include this one. Before I add the kick and stuff, I'm gonna add in a percussion loop somewhere. I got to mention as well, I'm using the Hellscape drum kit. Big thank you again to Jay for sending me this. There's a lot of nice sounds in here. I feel like I'm forgetting something. I don't know why I 
feels like a few things are out of time, but I think I'm gonna try and fix that in the arrangement. I'm gonna add one more bass line though. I don't know how I'm gonna keep this beat interesting for like the duration of the track. I think I may need to add an acapella in here just so there's more stuff going on. Real quick, I'm gonna mix and arrange everything, then we can play the final beat. Okay, this is what the final beat looks like. To be honest, I actually haven't done that much to it. I made a couple gaps in the arrangements to make room for the vocal. I've also added a small EQ and a fast distortion onto the second bass line. Of course, I've added the acapella for the reference track. And obviously, because I use stem separation to get the acapella, the male vocal sample of the original track is audible in some places. I did my best to EQ it out, but this is kind of the best I can do. But of course, before I play the final beat, I wanna say a big thank you for watching. And I think I've got something pretty interesting planned for next video. So hopefully that works out. And for sure I'll make another video on this album because there's so many more styles on it that I want to cover. But yeah, this is what the final beat sounds like. I need to know, make it